yes welcome back to my channel yes you know uh i don't know if you know i learned how to operate on the media by uh re reading one of uh gary v's book so he uploaded this new uh youtube video that's that seems very interesting so uh I'm about to tune in and gain some knowledge, all right? <laughs> Let's get it. What do you think right now is the fastest way to get to your first $100,000? By not liking the word To actually answer you literally, the fastest way to get there yes. is attention is the number one asset. Hi, wow. nice to meet you. What's the one thing that if you had learned it at 25, it would have accelerated your success trajectory so much more? That candor was a good thing, not a bad thing. And I didn't really know what the word candor meant at the time, but candor. when I look back at my career at this point, it's very clear to me that that is the, you know, candor. that that was the kryptonite. That things were going super well and things went well and things are well, but the one place where I could have really taken it to the next level would have been, when I look back at my career, all of the professional relationships that could be better today, and I really believe in relationships, were predominantly employees, occasionally partners and vendors, where I wasn't capable of delivering bad news out of actually loving them and liking them. And that then led to muckery, resentment on my end, sloppy exits and firings or partnership breakups, and so, over the last three, four years, I think I've been able to up my candor game dramatically by reframing it as kind candor. And that's really worked for me. I'm still probably a five out of 10, which is not really great. But boy, going from a one out of 10 or a two out of 10 to a five or six out of 10 has been a monster jump. And I feel the effects and that is definitely the black and white answer to if I could do it at 25 differently. So What's the lack of candor you had at 25? And then now, if someone is underperforming at your company, what kind of candor do you have with them? Ever wonder how everyone sells their LLC formation services for free? The way they make their profit is through selling you more. I'm just able to have the conversation. You know, hey, Johnny, can I get 15 minutes with you? Hey, listen, brother, I love you. You're a good dude. You do a lot of things right. But this and this, that you're not doing well, it's so detrimental that it might lead to us not being able to work together, so can we work on it? And here's how I can help and here's how you can help. That combo just didn't happen before. You know, it would come out and like, I'd walk by Johnny and be like, hey Johnny, like, you know, get your game up brother, ha ha. Like, you know, I would do these little things and ra if I was close to you, I would razz you. Like, I would try to communicate through like a joke or a razz that was heavily, you know, <laughs> dipped in honey and sugar so it wouldn't hurt. I was just being around the bush. And so now it's like, what does it look like? Even having the combo, just even having it. And the reason I'm five out of 10 is even when I'm having them now, I gotta really like get there to like be like, oh no, no, you gotta shoot it straight. Cause it's in me to be around the bush in that scenario. And I'm really, really practicing on going right at it. And it's really been helpful. Do you believe in hire slowly, fire quickly, or do you give people more shots? I'm the reverse, actually. I'm a big believer in hiring fast. I think people overthink it. It's a guessing game. Like, resumes are loaded with people's... I don't think I've ever checked a reference check. It's not practical, it's not common sense. Of course you're gonna put the three people that either most believe in you or love you, and or you prepped them to be like, hey, get my back. Um, <laughs> So I think you're making an intuitive guess. Right. I think you're making a logical guess to the best of your ability based on what you know about your organization and the series of questions you asked. I'm a big fan of hiring fast, meaning I don't think you should just hire everyone, but if you feel it, you don't need to all go right, through man, too many more it rounds. Right it all depends on how much you trust your intuition and pattern recognition. I think once you have someone in your organization, you now know the truth. Hiring is guessing, firing is knowing.